Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to create the eye catching poster in Photoshop. So, first I will create a gradient background. So, for that, I will go to the adjustment layer and simply click on the gradient. Here, you have to open the panel, go to the basics and turn on this by default color that I have selected even though if you want to know about the colors so the colors code are this now you need to drag this handle to the right side just because to create much more lightness and then hit ok after that we will convert it to the radial instead of linear and we will check the letter it will bring the softness in our gradient got it and here I will increase the scale to something you can say 115 right there you go and then simply hit ok as you know we have just applied the gradient right it's looking well but we have to make it more attractive so for that I'll go to the file click on the place embedded and just drag my background if you want to know about it so I have already created a tutorial on it so simply adjust it and hit enter after that change the blending mode to soft light but we have to just give it opacity to look much more better so i do think the 28 percent is enough there you go with the difference otherwise you can decrease it a little more now the last tip with the background all you have to do go to the filter click on the blur and then click on the gaussian blur so with the gaussian blur we will blur the background so because of blurness our main focus will be on subject there you go with the blurness little bit of blurness not that much so that's fine so we will simply group them and rename plus lock now we will move towards the second step that is typing the text select the type tool type the letter j that i will be using and remember which font i'm using that is the most read simply change the color otherwise it doesn't matter right now and it just the size and position in the font family we will select the black version of it so in the next step we will bring our first picture just to use it inside this later so go to the file click on the place embedded and then just pick up the forest just flip it give it opacity to clearly see behind and just adjust the size and position all you have to do just create its clip and mills increase the opacity again so it's time for the road and then the jeep go to the file click on the place embedded and break the road if you want to download these elements so the link can be found in the provided description below now all you have to do just create its clip and mask as well now we have to bring our main subject go to the file click on the place embedded and just choose the jeep it just the size and position same as the later we can see some issues right here so select the road and increase its scale hit enter then now we want the pop out effect so for that you have to remove this extra big area so hold the control key click on the layer mask of the text and simply invert it with control shift i now select the jeep layer click on the layer mask and simply invert it again now select the brush tool give it the hard size and just enable the outside of the jeep if you see the subject color doesn't match the background so for that all you have to do go to the adjustment layer and just select the hue and saturation remember to create its clip and mask so it only applies in the main subject now you can change the color easily and match it with the background that's it here i want to tell you one more tip if you zoom in you can see the lights if you turn it on so it will look much more better so for that you have to create a new layer select the brush tool remember to make it default color just flip the color so the foreground color becomes white decrease the size 
your softness and just click on this light area there you go again create the new layer now do the same step with the other as well there you go before and after before and after right let's give it a little bit of opacity 85 percent that's fine okay so now it's time for the clouds just embed the cloud it's just the position so it will make our design to look much more better we will duplicate it select the move tool and just move it up now select this bottom cloud bring it down to a later area click on the Control t for transforming just make it small then hit enter right click and create its clip-in mask there you go now we all are done with every step here the main subject comes so just rename it then lock it it's time for the text so select the type tool again and just type the text Control a open the text panel make it capital remember to remove the space and just convert its fun family to something semi ball that's fine and here it just the size and position again type the next text as well align them with each other so there you go and it just the size and position again here we will type the last text and that is G and just make it bold for the main focus it just the size and position again align it with the text as well so it then just create a shape for the difference disable the stroke the fill is enabled just zoom in and check how is it looking then simply align it select the rectangle layer again create a layer mask select the brush tool and then erase this extra part everything is done now all you have to do just group all the text and bring it at the bottom of the subject and there you go if you learned something can you like the video and subscribe to our youtube channel thank you